Today is November 9th, 2022. The time is 1.19 p.m. I'm going to read some stories to you. It says, some Somalia Al-Shabaab destroys Harmud Telecom Tower with car bomb. Mogadishu, Somalia. Hormud Telecom, Somalia's largest telecommunication giant, has confirmed the destruction of its telecommunication tower and center in Quail Village within Gamadog in a car bomb attack by the Al Shabaab militants. It states, it is with great sadness to inform our customers that the Excuse me, VBIED attack destroyed our site in Quayub, in Quayub, a village in Guagun region today, the company said. Okay, so basically it's saying that there was a telecommunications tower that was bombed in Quayub village within Galumog. Also, Here's another story. Al-Shabaab gunmen attack military base in central Somalia. It says the attack, it says, it says suspected Al-Shabaab fighters attacked a Somalia military base in the central Gaglundong region on Monday, the defense minister said, days after the area was captured by government forces. The army repulsed the attack on the base housing national and local troops in KU. A village captured by Al Shabaab. Okay, let's just see that. So we got to go to Q A A Y K Kwayu Somalia, and this is where the attack happened. That's Kwayu Somalia. As you can see, there are no roads going to Kwayu, but there's a there's a town down here. There's actually a tower, and there is the tower. You can see the tower very well. Now, they're saying that Al-Shabaab fighters are responsible for bombing this. I want you to look at this very clearly. There are no roads into this area. This is no man's land. This is absolutely no man's land. Now, they're saying that in that first article that we read, it's saying that Al Shabaab came in here and uh, they bombed this here uh, tower. My question is, how did they know the tower was there? Come on, this is this is no man's land. How did they know? How did Al Shabaab know that this tower was there? How did they plan their attack when? I mean, it's not even on the map. And then this other article says that, uh, okay, it, it, it um, okay, that, now the, this other article here is saying that they attacked an army, uh, 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 it says suspect that the Al Shabaab fighters attacked a Somali military base in the center, central Gagaldon region on Monday. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the, the we're going to go here. We're going to type in military basis. Okay, so we see we've got a couple military bases. Skip my, we have a military base right here, but let's get directions to, the, to the tower, Q A A, Caleb, Somalia. Here's Caleb. Here's Quayib, Somalia. There are no roads. There are no roads that lead there. So, how did Al Shabaab attack a military base? I mean, I'm not saying that it's not impossible, but where does Al Shabaab come from? I mean, like, um, how do you know that this? How did Al Shabaab know that right here in Quayib that there was a tower there that they should bomb? How did they get up there? They said that this happened around five a five p.m. 
Well, you can see that this is densely, it's very dense woods. And I mean, it's a jungle. How did they maneuver it? How did they even know that that tower existed? How did, how did they know? Whoops, I can't get my, how did they know that this tower existed? Here's the tower. See, this whole little section right here, that's the tower. How did Al-Shabaab know that that tower was there? What did they use to navigate to that location? So, I mean, like, how? How did they know? Here's the nearest military base. And if you do uh, measure distance, it's like 52 miles away. And if we did, let's, if we do directions from the military base to the area where the power is, Somalia, it says, sorry, we could not calculate driving directions from Quay, U, Somalia to this area where the military base is. You can't do it through transit. You can't walk the distance. You can't use a bicycle. And you can't take a, a, a airplane. So how does, how does Al, how does Al Shabab travel? How, how does Al Shabab travel this distance? Look, when you go on Google map, you see there are no roads leading into this area where that tower is. That tower exists, and the only ones who would know for a sure, for sure that that tower exists is the government themselves. And the only one who could, I mean, how do you get a vehicle packed with this? I'm not saying it's not impossible, but how did they know? How would Al Shabaab know that that tower was there? The government knew this tower was there, and it can be very well hit from above with an airstrike. I'm curious. I mean, how does Al Shabaab move around in a vehicle where there are no roads? Where are the roads leading into this? I'm going to keep searching this story out because there's not enough information. Okay, and it's, it's saying here, um, the attack began with two suicide bombs at 5 a.m., followed by hours of heavy fighting. How did Al-Shabaab get up on that? Where? How did Al-Shabaab, how did they know that this tower was there? How did they know that this is a military base? Because when I type in um, military, Terry bases near El this area. I'm getting this military base, and then there's other military bases here. But like, if we go here and go, let's um, this is a military base. Let's get directions to that. Q A A Y I B, Kuku Samaya. Sorry, we could not find a flight. We could not calculate driving directions. We could not calculate transit directions. We could not calculate walking directions. We could not calculate biking directions. So, how did Al Shabab know that there was a tower and they should drive several vehicles up there and bomb the hell out of it? I don't understand. I mean, this is no man's land. There clearly are no roads there. I mean, how would Al-Shabaab know? Because if they use Google Maps, Google Maps is not going to tell them how to get there. They would have to guess. You got to keep on this.